India is going through a big change. Today, over 50% of accidents are in urban India, and almost 75% are related to driver error. The entire 120-year DNA of the auto industry is changing. Vehicles are getting smarter, they're getting more connected, and possibly going more virtual. This entire shift in the DNA is trying to rethink where mobility is going to go. The challenge in India, I think, is more unique. Can we have this really smart car? Can we have something that's driverless and works for India in Indian conditions? Imagine a solution for the tens of millions of differently challenged, differently abled people today in the country. It could enable them to think of driverless mobility to get them around, see what it can do for their lives. Can this solution be far more affordable? Can we connect these cars together and make a difference in society of how cars are used in our city centers? Well, imagine pressing a button in your mobile phone, your car comes up to you, you don't have to think about parking, you get in it, and suddenly someone steps in front of you and your car's braking system takes over and stops even before you can react. You drive to your next destination, you get out of it, press another button and it goes and finds the closest parking spot and gives you a set of convenience that's very different. So what we're looking for is an innovative solution. And what we have for you is a rise price. It's about combining automotive. It's about combining electronics. It's about integrating the latest levels of software and putting all of this in the next generation mechatronic solutions that can make a difference. It's about taking the boundaries of what you've done in school and colleges and seeing how you can push that in making a meaningful difference in people's lives. It's about redefining the future of mobility with smart cars in an innovative way. And that, to me, is a million dollar solution we're looking for.